Prime Minister Narendra Modi at this moment uh, is uh, leaving. Uh, he is, in fact, uh, getting on board the plane which is going to take him to Italy for the G7 summit where India is a special invitee. Uh, remember, this is the first visit of the Prime Minister uh, in his uh, uh, of taking over as the Prime Minister of the third term. So, Prime Minister Narendra Modi's first visit uh, after he takes over as the PM uh, for the third consecutive term. Prime Minister Narendra Modi, uh, remember, is representing India. And India, of course, uh, is a special invitee for the G7 summit, which is taking place in Italy at this moment. And my colleague Vishnu Shom is in Italy. Let me quickly going across to him. Vishnu, Prime Minister... Uh, has in fact is on his way. He has embarked uh, that uh, uh, aircraft and will be uh, flying for Italy. Just bring our viewers a sense of how important this entire summit is and the role that India is going to play. Well, uh, the Prime Minister now about to depart for uh, Italy. It'll be about an eight-hour flight or so, about 11.30 p.m. Uh, tonight is when he's expected to land over here. He's going to have one full day of hard work over here. That's tomorrow before he returns to India day after tomorrow. India's presence, this G7, is very, very important. India has been invited over here for the 11th time as a special invitee. India is otherwise not a part of the G7 group. But remember, India has seen to be increasingly the voice of the global south. Also, India as an economy is now the world's fifth largest. India's economy is larger than Canada. It's larger than the, than the hosts, Italy and also France. And this is significant because, remember, Ankit, the G7 was formed initially as an economic grouping. But, of course, since then speaks about several issues. This time around, the big one will be the Ukraine war. Right. Uh, Vishnu, you know, as you were speaking about the Ukraine war, uh, you know, uh, India has uh, played a very, uh, very crucial, in fact, role as far as balancing their act is concerned with uh, initially a lot of pressure from the West uh, for India to take sides. Uh, how do you see, you know, India fitting into the largest discussions as far as the Ukraine war is concerned and also on Gaza? Well, I think that's an important point. Remember, Ankit, India is not drawn into any one power bloc. Uh, and I think the strength of India's foreign policy uh, has been the fact that we are non-aligned. The word non-aligned is no longer used, it's possibly considered passe, but India is no longer part of any, or is not part of any power bloc. And in the context of Ukraine, uh, we are excellent friends with Russia, we are excellent friends with Ukraine. The Prime Minister has repeatedly spoken about the need for hostilities to come to an end. At the same time, we've got a strong economic relationship with uh, Russia, where oil imports do continue. But at the same time, there's been a long-running uh, relationship with Ukraine, not least of all, for example, when it comes uh, to education of thousands of Indians who study over there. Um, there has also been a strong desire for uh, the war to actually come to an end. Now, there has been a hope, certainly among Ukrainian leaders, that Prime Minister Modi is able to reach out to President Putin and make a change and make a difference. But whether that actually takes place or not is still unclear. It's not happened thus far. Uh, but India is seen as an independent player and an important player in various blocks around the world, certainly in the G7 bloc as well. You know, Vishnu, before we let you go, uh, there will be, of course, uh, important uh, business agenda also for the Prime Minister. Uh, what are the bilaterals that you are expecting on the sidelines of the G7 summit uh, with, of Prime Minister with other world leaders? Yeah. Well, a couple of important ones. Firstly, there will be a bilateral between Giorgia Meloni, the uh, Italian Prime Minister, and Prime Minister Modi. Uh, Prime Minister Meloni was in India for um, a state visit. Before that, she was in India for the G20. Uh, the two leaders have a strong uh, working relationship, and I think uh, there is a sense that uh, the India-Italy uh, strategic relationship needs to be enhanced in many ways, certainly economic. So that's number one. But there is a great deal of speculation on what may or may not happen should Justin Trudeau, the Canadian Prime Minister, come across Narendra Modi, our Prime Minister. Uh, remember, India's uh, New Delhi's relationship with Ottawa is at a historic low, given our concerns about uh, Khalistani separatist activities on Canadian soil. Uh, but whether there is an effort to actually bring that relationship uh, up to a, a right keel, India and Canada, both strong democracies, is something that uh, needs to be seen. Uh, to be, uh, you know, for us to be sure of. But will this be at that starting point? We'll have to wait and see. I fully expect uh, Prime Minister Modi to meet the U.S. President Joe Biden as well. Many of the G7 leaders would be congratulating the Prime Minister on coming to power for a third time being sworn in as Prime Minister on the third occasion.
Vishnu Shom reporting there uh, for NDTV from Italy on this big summit. Thank you so much for joining us with all those details.